Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Today's I want to talk about uh, pans. What you're looking at right now, this is what they call a non-stick pan. And as you can see, it's not looking very good. I no longer use this pan. Um, it's been a while now. But uh came to me in a dream one time. I woke up in the morning and I told my wife, that's it. I'm not cooking with these non-stick pans anymore. But as you can see, um, the non-stick surface comes off and it goes into your food. And whatever you cook in this pan, this stuff gets absorbed in any, of the, any kind of food that you cook in this pan. Uh, the heat opens up the, the pores in the pan. You put your food in stir it around cook it and this stuff gets embedded in your food you swallow it gets in your stomach and your stomach you know digests it and breaks it down and goes through your blood system and then you're getting poisoned by this stuff so apparently it was bothering me and I had a dream about it and I woke up the next morning and I said that's it I'm not cooking these pants no more I'm done with them <clears throat> what I did is I'm switching everything over in my house to glass or stainless steel or cast iron as you can see right here, there is no non-stick surface in this glass pan. Really, this was really cheap. Picked this up at a yard sale for a buck, and that's that's the thing that uh, uh, I like to do. I like to go yard selling because you can find nice stuff like this for a buck, or hit the uh, uh, Walmart stores or Targets and hit the clearance racks. Uh, I got this cast iron pan for eleven bucks. At Target, it was twenty nine ninety nine. They marked it down to eleven dollars, and it's huge. And it's really heavy. Also, I picked up this set right here, stainless steel pans. Picked this this set up right here for twenty four bucks at Walmart. It was on clearance sale. It comes with this that stainless pan, comes with a pot, a smaller pot. And it comes with two lids. So my wife picked this one up at Big Lots for eleven dollars. Just this one pan here. Um, as you see, the heat discolors this, but you just get a Scotch Brite and scratch that back. There's no non-stick surface on here to peel off and get into your food, and make you sick. Believe it or not, over time, that non-stick surface that's supposed to make your food non-stick. Uh, doesn't work because your food always ends up sticking no matter how much butter or oil or whatever you put in there the food always sticks and then it peels off into your food as you see none of the, there's there's nothing on these pans here that will peel off you know there's glass here and stuff like that so I would suggest you know hit the yard sales hit the clearance racks uh, Salvation Armies uh, I got a couple of a glass glasses at the Salvation Army because uh, you see right here pick these up we got a set of four of these got them for a dollar Salvation Army because uh, I'm no longer going to drink out of plastic anymore I use this stuff to uh, scoop my dog food out that's what I use this for from for my dogs so now instead I'll either drink out of ceramic cups or stainless steel you see right here this is a 24 ounce stainless steel bottle because whatever you're eating and whatever you're drinking whatever you store it in your food absorbs whatever you're storing it in like if you store your stuff in plastic it's going to absorb the chemicals that the plastic puts off especially if you're storing it in a, a cabinet or something like that um, if you're cooking in a, in a microwave uh, the heat heats up the plastic the plastic puts off a chemical and uh, then your body absorbs those chemicals so that's a that's another way how the government makes us sick is uh, they put out this crap that people don't really think about and then they wonder why they're getting sick it's been used for hundreds of years cast iron the only reason people don't like to use them today is because they're so heavy. See? They're heavy. These uh, 
non-stick pans are really, really light. You know? This I used to uh, uh, shovel dirt outside. Uh, that's the only reason I hang on to that. <clears throat> uh, yes, why I'm shoveling dirt with this. I don't know. I'm just trying to use it for something else. Oh, one more thing. Got rid of my microwave. Threw that right in the garbage. My wife thought I was crazy and losing my mind. I went out and I bought this uh, electric oven, which is uh, used as a slash storage also. So now when I cook my bagels, I cook it in that. But it um, takes a little bit longer. But um, tastes better. When my wife boiled my tea for the first time in that big pot there, when I, when I drank the tea, I thought she had changed the brand of tea that, that uh, I usually drink because it tasted different. She said, no, I cooked it in that, uh, I boiled it in that stainless steel pot. I'm like, man, that makes a big difference. You'll be shocked how big of a difference it makes when you get away from this non-stick stuff. Uh, because your body's so used to eating this stuff, as you can see, it comes off. So I got rid of my microwave, and I bought that. And then I was at a yard sale, and I picked this one up for a buck. And as you can see, I'm cleaning it. It's a smaller toaster. Uh, cooks the bagels faster than the bigger one over there. And the bigger one, I use that to warm up my food when I want to eat. Like, if I need to stick a whole plate in there to fit. This one I use for toast, for bagels for whatever pizza rolls for my kids like pizza rolls um, as you can see I've got some uh, oven cleaner on it I'm gonna clean that up uh, it works fine I'm just today's cleaning day and I'm cleaning that so get away from plastics <clears throat> see these plastic plates here this is what I feed the, the, the cats that hang around my front of my door maybe that's why they hang around because I keep feeding them ceramic I bought a set of these plates uh, from Walmart, also clear and style. This was $15. I got four of these, and I got four of these. So, you know, ceramic, uh, glass, cast iron, or stainless steel. This happens to be my favorite pan. And I use less gas cooking with this. Because uh, if you try to cook it on high, like I, would, like I would do with these, just to get the food to cook, this, I have to put it on a very low setting. Uh, because the the heat spreads so fast um, that you don't have to cook on high heat anymore so I cook the gas on very 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 low low flame and uh, now I got oven mitts right there that I have to use because uh, I have to get some kind of coating or something to put on these handles because these handles get extremely hot really fast so that's what you have to be careful for same with this so uh, Make these slight changes in your life and you'll be you'll be surprised, so 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 surprised how better the food tastes, how better your health starts changing, and uh, get off that crap man. Throw away that microwave, you don't need it. Uh, the problem is with microwaves today, people in society, we're all in such a rush. Take an extra couple of minutes man and cook your your food in, uh, you know, the, the old style way with with electric and heat not microwave radiation and you'll be surprised just how good your food starts tasting to you and not like chemicals that's it youtubers don't believe what I say go out and research it yourself